oh, I just watched Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and this is what I thought. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. So Doctor Strange 2, or Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, so that's a mouthful, finally released in theaters, and I finally got to watch it. The one main thing that I really wanted to enjoy from this movie is the multiverse aspect of it, because that is something that Marvel is fully going into, you know, and, you know, before DC even gets there. This is like the second film that goes into the multiverse. Could have been the third, fourth. I don't know anymore. I mean, it's all Loki's fault, right? If you've seen the Loki series, it's all Loki's fault. But without getting into spoilers, they do get into the multiverse aspect, and maybe not as much as I would have liked. But it was really cool to see a ton of cameos. That's what's selling this movie right now. I think that what's selling this movie is like, there's going to be a ton of cameos in here, which really shouldn't have been shown in the trailers at all. I think it would have been really surprising to see a lot of it. But I did manage to avoid the biggest spoiler, even though I kind of felt like... This person would show up in the movie, and this person did, and I was really surprised, and I actively clapped and cheered and said, wow, that person is in this movie. That, that's cool. That, that's really cool. And even though people talk about all the cameos, this is still a Doctor Strange movie. And it does pretty much focus on Doctor Strange. And it's really cool that the effects of what he's done in previous movies, like that one choice where he gave Thanos the Time Stone, the effect of that choice seems to reverberate throughout this whole movie. Choices like that, singular moments in life that could impact the future or impact other universes. The newcomer who played America Chavez was pretty good too. Although at first I'm like, what is her power exactly? Is kind of hmm. then you kind of figure out that she is pretty much the key throughout this whole movie. She's kind of like the MacGuffin, I guess, of the movie. Wong is back and actually plays a pretty big role in this movie, so it's great to see him as the Sorcerer Supreme. But there's one character in this movie that I absolutely love, and that is Scarlet Witch. Oh my God! They really should have put her name in the title. Scarlet Witch is phenomenal. Wanda is phenomenal. Elizabeth Olsen, she acted her butt off in this movie. But the one person that really stole the movie was Scarlet Witch. And I really felt that Scarlet Witch's character arc rounded out really well in this movie after the whole WandaVision series. And if there's any Marvel project that you should watch before this movie, I would say consider watching WandaVision. Yeah, that is a lighter series compared to this, but the emotional aspects, the emotional core of the character from WandaVision transfers to this one and it actually gives the character more emotional impact if you've seen WandaVision beforehand. In fact, if you think about it, just tracking her character arc from the beginning since Age of Ultron till now, you can kind of understand the character. I almost want to say she is probably the most evolved MCU character as after I've seen this movie. And I just love that Elizabeth Olsen was able to bring in her Sokovian accent here and there just to give you, you know, a little tease or a hint of her current state of mind. I'm really impressed with this character. She stole the movie. And a lot of people are talking about the whole Sam Raimi aspect of the movie, and I could totally see it. There were a couple jump scares, and there's a little bit more violence and gore than what you've usually come to expect from an MCU movie. It's not full-on horror or bonkers, unless I'm really messed up in my head and I've seen too many horror movies. But they do have that, and it's more scary and horrifying especially for kids uh if they want to go see this movie but for me as a full-fledged adult and loving sam raimi's movies ever since the first evil dead i would say i'm a complete fan of this movie this is definitely sam raimi written all over it including the horror elements of it it even had some homage to other maybe japanese horror movies as well but all in all, it was a fantastic ride. It never lets up. There's really no slowdown. And I was engrossed the entire time. It was action-packed. Lots of horror. Shocking deaths. Shh. I forgot to tell you about that. I, I am amazed and shocked who dies in this movie. It's, it's that kind of movie. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you to go out and check out Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It was a great time in the theater. All right, if you have seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, what did you think about that movie? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.